Those results with the result of this race determine our day's winner. Here we go. And again, a great start from the kid, Max Volan. Um, obviously, from that uh, DNF and Moto One, he had a great jump, but he had to come from a long way back to win this title. The first Moto, he didn't quite get the start, but even beyond that, he wasn't that impressive. But with all the time left, he could learn a few things and then maybe put Jet under pressure. This. Outside, tries to soak up this double, get the bike back onto the ground, a huge drive. But he's got to steal it from the outside, trying to fend him off. Who's going to leave the brakes late? Lawrence gets it done. Yeah, to relinquish that position, I thought he was going to go in and make contact, uh, but backed out at the very last second. Two wins in a row, the series finale at this track last year, and Chet Lawrence wins the opener for 2021. Five, three scores, that should be third overall. So still podium points. The are up, the gate is down. Cooper and Chet Lawrence down to the inside, fighting it for it. Justin Cooper. And Chet Lawrence is aggressive this time. He's second and he's already looking for running room on Cooper. Yeah, Jaluk Swall had a good run. Jeremy Martin. We actually heard Jeremy got sideways coming out of the gate, so he's got a bad start. Oh! Jet almost made the move. Jet Lawrence won't like that. Wow. He's going to send a message right back. Blitz across top of the jumps, and then Cooper cuts him off again. <laughs> when we combine both motos, is up for grabs with Martin in the back. And listen to the crowd here in Colorado loving this action. Seeing if that works. Shout out to RJ Hampshire, third in the first moto earlier today. He is running fourth right now. He's good on this downhill, no doubt. Made up all the ground right there. Almost had the pass made. But I got a feeling when Jet gets a chance, if he does, to get back at Justin Cooper. I think you're gonna see uh, maybe a little red paint. So, once again, looking like a great day for Hampshire. Once again, a mistake cost him. That's happened far too many times, I'm sure for... Oh, it's on right now. Jetson has caught Justin Cooper. Oh! oh. Jet almost lost the back end. Yeah, it's getting that time of the day. The track's getting packed in. They now, Jet Lawrence is going after Justin Cooper. How many things can happen at once in this series? Your own race. Oh, this could be devastating for his championship hopes. We'll try to figure out if he can get back in this one. He's going his direction. He wins the first moto, but then a bad start here. We're not exactly sure what happened. We just saw him down as he so they've traded mistakes on that uphill. And Jet, as you said, riders have a long memory. Grant, that's a big question, right? How hard does he push right now? When we spoke to him in the week leading out, he's talked about it a lot. As, Here it comes, Will. Sorry to cut that. you off, but he just put that pass on. We knew it was coming. We knew he'd get aggressive, and he did. He did exactly what I would expect him to do. He saw an opening. He went for it. As I said, no love lost between these two riders. He's going to do. And right there, take the line away. Guy, the beautiful pass, though. I mean... Of that was what he needed to get into the lead. Did he add maybe a little something extra? Because remember, in this corner right here, Cooper did the same thing to him early right now. One thing I am seeing, you start seeing that dirt getting light. Not there, but there's a lot of sections where it's very light. In the air, they'll rev the engine to really get that rear wheel spinning so when they land, the bike doesn't bog down at all. Turns. Yeah, a lot of the riders mentioning after practice, you can see the difference in character of the dirt, how it goes from dark to light. It'll be dry in some spots. Oh, that was beautiful. Sending it down that hill. Woo! Um, you just watch the bumps he hits on purpose and, and bat deflects off them, or the bumps that he misses on purpose. All running this pace. He looks smooth and in control, which is not what you would think from someone so young. The young Australian is going to retake the points lead and a big win here in Moto2 in Colorado. Justin Cooper wins at Thunder Valley. Well, a pretty good jump, powering on the outside, and I think Nichols just edges his teammate out. Still stuck. Meanwhile, the Yamaha riders are still going at it. Cooper and Nichols. Cooper down to the lead. Nichols comes right back at him, but good start again for Moto One winner. Yeah, Swole right there, battling with both Lawrence brothers. Pushes Nichols back to third. Then you've got Jet Lawrence, and they've gotten around 209 flat. So just it was actually just over a second, about one 1.1. 1 .1, uh, Lawrence. Jet in Moto One. Maybe the track coming around more to his liking. Swole is right there. So Justin Cooper starting to march away from the field, but no leader is safe at a rough race track like this. A couple of mistakes from the 32. And we'll give you an idea of the gap. 
there it is being swole and every time you see the more it's a little bit closer and now just just Whoa. like that so easy to get out of that run but he's on the inside for this next turn so you might be able to defend if you see shimoda tree and then lawrence came over from australia and they battled quite a bit some of their final amateur events and then swole kind of said no two spot oh yeah lawrence has charged that hill he's got the inside can he get there pinch him no oh. luckily there's two lines there now if they came to we saw what happened to his uh, buddy and teammate. He, he's jumping that. Swole's got to figure that out now. Now yeah, that he's behind, nice. he can see what Lawrence does. He's got to pick this up. I was going to hurt him. Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. You got Jet Lawrence making a move on Jalik Swole. And here's how he made the move, putting it back together. Kind of puzzling in Moto 1. He had this speed at times, but then he also had some bad laps. At least for him, I don't think confidence was lacking, but a little something extra here if he can hold on. Well, he took a really hard look to his left track to try to see where your competition is, and you always want to hope that they're at least there or further back. And they come close to Even gives out 100 donuts every Saturday morning to the first 100 fans that stop by the Red Bull rig. So to become the 87th winner ever in this class, Justin Cooper takes the...